Welcome to this NASA 32 quick tip. In this quick tip, we'll be adding a Bluetooth adapter to the NASA 32 to allow us to wirelessly connect to the NASA 32 and look at telemetry information and also change settings. In this video, we'll actually take the board, connect it to the PC, and then once it's connected to the PC, make sure that the settings on the Bluetooth module itself are correct. It needs to be running at 115200 board. While we have it connected, we can also double check a couple of other things and change things like the name and default pin as well, which can be handy uh, for security and also make it easier to find the adapter in a list. Once we've done that, then we'll actually look at how we wire it up to the NASA 32 itself. And then finally, we'll connect to the NASA 32 using an Android tablet and an app so that you can see it all in action. First thing we need to talk about is how we're going to configure this board to make sure that it is set properly so the NASA 32 will understand what it is and be able to talk to it. To do this, we're going to use an FTDI adapter. This is an adapter that we've seen multiple times in my NASA 32 series, and we've used it to connect and configure other elements like the Minim OSD and the NE06 GPS for the NASA 32 as well. You need to connect the FTDI adapter to the Bluetooth adapter like this as we've got on the screen. So the ground to ground, plus five volts to plus five volts, and then swap over the transmit and receive cables. So RXI on the FTDI adapter goes to TX, and the TX0 on the FTDI adapter goes to RX. Make sure you've got those two crossed over. Once you have that plugged in, then you can pop a USB cable into the FTDI adapter and plug it into your netbook. So let's do that now and fire up the Arduino program so that we can use it to make sure that the Bluetooth adapter is set up properly. So now I have the Bluetooth adapter plugged into the FTDI adapter and that adapter plugged into the computer via the USB cable, we can just check its configuration before we plug it into the NAS A32. We know it's powered up because as soon as the Bluetooth adapter is plugged into the USB cable, you'll notice that the red light will come on and start to blink. That blinking red light means it's waiting for a connection, but it shows us that it has power. Now, to communicate with a board and to check the things and change the things that we'd like is relatively straightforward if you already have this Arduino program. I'll put a link in the notes on where you need to go if you want to download this, but this is something that if you already have an FTDI adapter in your bag, you're probably already using. It's a very common thing if you're playing with Arduino boards or multi-week based setups. The easiest thing to do is just go into Tools, Make sure that the serial port that's selected is the FTDI adapter that's plugged in and then click on this one up here called Serial Monitor. Click on that icon. When that opens, and this board rate can be set to anything, you will notice that um, you need to have no line ending, auto scroll selected, and we can talk directly to the board and make sure if it's okay. Now, uppercase AT, and hit send should return a capital O and a capital K saying OK. There we go. That's confirmed two things. First of all, the board rate on the board is absolutely set for 9600, which is the wrong board rate for the NASA 32. It needs to be 115200. And it also shows us that the Bluetooth module is happy. First thing then is let's change that board rate to something that we need it to be. So the command is AT plus. B-A-U-D, all uppercase, and the number 8, and that will set it to 115200. We'll click send and it'll confirm that that's what it's about to do, then it'll change the board rate. You'll notice now if we type in AT and hit send, we don't get anything back, and that's because we're now talking at the wrong speed. We're still 9600, but the Bluetooth has changed to 115200. So we need to change to that same speed to continue talking to it. So now we're 115200. If I type in uppercase AT, and there we have the OK again. A couple of other things you can do while you're here, which is quite cute. We can change the name of the device. That's the name that appears when you, when you search for discoverable Bluetooth devices on your phone or PC. And we can also change the default pin number, which you use to create a pair with this Bluetooth module. 
First of all, let's change the name. Well, AT plus NAME, AT plus name, and then the name of the device. Now, I'm going to call it NAS832. Hit send. Here we go. The name is now set. That's what it'll appear when we try and discover it. And we'll also change the default pins just to make sure that I'm not going to have that kind of hassle. I would say it's AT plus pin. One, two, three, four. And I know, click send, that that is the pin number that we need to use. Right. Now we have the name set, we've got our default pin, we know what that is, and we also know it's 115200. We can now plug it into the NASIC 32 and try it out. So we need to unplug the HCO5 or HCO6 Bluetooth adapter from the FTDI adapter itself, and we can plug it into the NASIC 32. Now we'll look at this physically in a second, but very quickly, here's a diagram that explains how we're going to pull it all together. Ground and plus 5 volts can both be taken from a spare motor output rail on the top of the NASA 32 and we then connect the receive and transmit pins to the receive and transmit pins that are in the middle of the NASA 32 itself. Again, being very careful to make sure that the receive on the NASA 32 is connected to the transmit on the Bluetooth adapter and vice versa. So here we have the Bluetooth board wired into the copter as per the diagram. So as we had a look at, you can see that the uh, plus five volts and ground are going into the two pins on the um, output. That's gonna give it the five volts it needs and also the ground. And then the other two pins, which are receive and transmit, are going into the top two pins of the board. These two pins here, which is uh, where you would also plug in a Minim OSD if you wanted to put that instead of a Bluetooth module. So it's pretty straightforward to wire in. So what we'll do now is we'll power everything up and we'll connect to the device using a Samsung tablet and also a little app that you can find on the store called Easy-GUI. So here we have the NAS A32 powered up. There's a Bluetooth module with a little light blinking, so it's ready for connection. I'm going to connect using a little Android tablet using an application called EZ-GUI Ground Station. So we'll just start that. And then what we'll do is we'll jump into config. We'll go into settings and it says select Multi-Wii Bluetooth. And there we go, you can see all of these devices appearing, all called NAS A32. We'll select one of those. Select the firmware version. We're actually going to be talking clean flight. So that'll work. Next. That looks good. Next. 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 Okay, now we should be able to talk to the board. Connect. So now it's asking us for the device's pin. Uh, we know we set that to one, two, three, four. We'll click done. Okay. Connected. Now we're connected. You can see that the light has gone solid on the Bluetooth adapter. And if I go into dashboard one, we can actually see if I move the craft, we can see the controls moving on the interface. See the heading change as I move around. Battery voltage is 11.0 volts. So that's how you set up and configure a Bluetooth adapter for Battery your... Battery voltage is 11.0 volts. <laughs> Altitude 0.2 meters. So now you, have, uh, you know how to have a Bluetooth connection through to your device. So hopefully that's interesting for those of you that are looking to do it. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and happy Battery flying. Voltage is 11.0 volts. Altitude 0.4 meters.